Soul Twin Audios. Stories created solely with the vintage soul in mind. O-T-R-T-S-T-A. What story can I connect you with today? I don't really need a story. I just wanted information. Very well. Tune your radio dial to anchor.fm slash soul twin audios. That's S O L E. Soul Twin Talk, a backstage pass into productions at Soul Twin Audios through guest interviews, commentaries, promos, and featuring your teasers and trailers. Well, I finally did it. I turned in a tale of tyranny to Ross Bernhardt for the music. I plan to release that sometime in October. I'm in the process of mixing the first episode of Cursed Dwellings, which you'll hear in Dark Paradise Episode 2. Once I've mixed that, I'll have a trailer out for you prior to the episode. I also plan to release a couple of episodes for Halloween from the Old Time Radio Theater series. And that's going to be for Mutual Audio Network's Transcontinental Terror in October. As I mentioned last week, I will be producing Sorry, Wrong Number and The Phantom Archer. The Phantom Archer, I'm still getting lines back from the uh, from the voice artists, but I do have all the lines in for Sorry, Wrong Number, so I will be starting mixing that very shortly. It's a very small town. Pretty sure I know everybody by sight. In Wolfbrook, New Hampshire. Welcome to Unhallowed Grounds. There's not much else out here worth being scared of. There is something outside of my house. What's gonna come through the windshield? What the hell happened here? Have you noticed anything strange? It just felt really weird. It has started again. It has started again. And what is with all this purple goo? Something the size of a Buick and dripping purple goo. I remember. I could put you in a very small concrete room just because. Could someone explain to me what's going on? I thought you were something else. Don't you mean someone else? No. There's no use in getting worked up over something that never happened, is there? October's Children. Coming September 2022. I have Dean T. Moody here in the studio with me today. Dean is a voice actor who's been in lots of productions of Soul Twin Audios, including Ghost Hunt, The Lottery, and he's also the main announcer for Old Time Radio Theater series. Out of all the roles you've portrayed, which one was your favorite to perform? I really enjoyed my part as Charles McDonald in Ghost Hunt, but... I think my favorite has been the old man and the lottery, always crabbing about how it was in the old days. We didn't do things like that, yada, yada, yada. That was a lot of fun. It ain't right. I've been telling them year after year. It ain't right. Now, grandsire, take it easy. Now you listen to me, Floyd Summers. I'm the oldest man in the village. Seventy-seven years I've been in the lottery. Seventy-seven years. Yeah, I know that, Mr. Warner. I know what's right about the lottery. It ought to be chips of wood. One chip for the name of every family. One chip with the name of every family, all in the big black box. We can't do it that way, grandsire. You know that. The box ain't big enough. Well, that's the way it was when I was a boy. Chips of wood. None of this here bitty pieces of paper. Paper. Ha! <laughs> What kind of a lottery you expect to have with paper? Well, there's too many folks in the village for wood anymore. Nobody pays any mind to the old ways. And there ought to be marching, too. I, I, I remember marching and, and, and someone sort of chanting like. Well, that's what there ought to be on lottery day. Oh, that was a long time ago. Nobody remembers that anymore. Well, that, that's the trouble. Nobody remembers. Uh, now, you take that black box. No, it's cracking. We ought to make a new one. A new one? Ha! Listen to him! A new box! 
Why, why, they used that box in my father's time for the lottery. And he told me it's made from the pieces of the box in his grandfather's time. Now you're supposed to be in charge of that box. Why, I, I saw it year before last, lying in Graves' barn. And this year it sat right on the shelf in your store. Now is that any way to take care of that box? <sighs> they don't run the lottery the way they used to. Hey, I've been in it 77 years and I ought to know. Out of all the roles you portrayed, I think that one is my favorite too. You just, you were hilarious. It was great. What other projects have you been working on? Recently, I had a part in a video game. A uh, game was called Space Punks where I was the voice of a, a giant cyborg mantis weapons expert named Bob. And uh, lately I was also a featured voice in a short animated project uh, about a Greek potter named Endocades, who came up with a new way to use glaze to decorate his pottery back in ancient times. Well, that short is being shown at the Boston Museum of Fine Arts and was even featured in an article in the New York Times. I'm pretty happy about that. As a voice actor, what advice do you have for beginners just starting out? Before spending any money on equipment, soundproofing your area, or even bothering with voice demos, get coaching. Take online VO classes. Take some improv classes. Get good before you get going. Is there a work in the public domain you would love to hear Soul Twin Audios produce? I think I would love to see or hear... <laughs> so to speak, some episodes of The Shadow or The Mysterious Traveler. Um, I'd love to also include some old commercials. Those could be so much fun to listen to and very amusing at times. Dean, thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank you for having me aboard in, uh, in the interview, Rachel. It's uh, nice to be here. <laughs> They used to call us monster hunters once. I've never liked that word, monster. We're scientists more than anything. We don't have to lash out at them because we're scared anymore. This is Marlon Murphy, my new partner. So you're one of those Yankees from headquarters? I am. Just call me Murphy. Would love to have you on the team to complete the picture. Who will she be joining you alongside this investigation? Yes, she will be. Monsters, cryptids, the third kind. These creatures are real. He needs to pay for what he's done. It goes against my code. We study these creatures to understand them. To protect them. They need to be eradicated, Murphy, as much as you foolishly refuse to understand it. You want me here, you play by my rules. Understand? They're coming for you. Who? Who's coming for me? Secrets, Murphy. Be silent. It is not your time yet, Merlin Murphy. I'm ready for whatever comes. Good. Murphy, a new audio drama premiering November 16th, wherever you get your podcasts. And now, our featured voice artist demo, Scott Wilkins. We will require your services to have pizza ready for all of us at a, a moment's notice. Thin crust, stuffed crust, one slice, two slice, whole pizza, box pizza, cauliflower crust, whatever. Well, your handsome engineer friend here wants to ask if you could do some research scans with me. Nice. I'm so glad you said yes. We are literally going to have the time of our lives. At any rate, one of them mentioned that two people, uh, one a dragonborn, the other joined in on the fun to celebrate the death of some celebrity. I think it may have been Hayden Christensen. That's a shame. I enjoyed his performance in Life as a House. If it's Batman you want dead, I've had my fair share killing that irritation of myself many times. I can be of a <laughs> great service to you. I don't have to say anything to you! <laughs> no! No! Don't hit my balls again! 
This Colosseum doth be my stadium, my arena, my home, my eternal bride. Um, um, uh, uh, this wasn't in the script. Uh, what should I do? And now, our featured audio drama review. What you have just listened to is the trailer music of the Borson Trilogy, which is part of the Chronicles of Wild Hollow. In the show notes, I'll provide the YouTube trailer so you can experience their trailer as it was intended. The Chronicles of Wild Hollow was produced by the company Shouting is Funny. This has a Wind of the Willows meets film noir with a dash of Golden Age musical vibes to it. Very enjoyable, from the writing, to the musical numbers, to the sound design. You're in for a real treat, and it doesn't surprise me at all that this company has won awards for their clever storytelling. Please check them out. You definitely won't regret it. Once upon a time, there was an ocean. The smuggler. I've heard about you. You're a long way from home again. Miss Gray. You are charged with treason against the pirate code. I've had enough of this. Throw her overboard! Not until I've seen the captain. Sickness, sickness! Exactly. He has a sickness. Only Payne's kiss can save him now. We must be wary of sea magics. <laughs> Tales of fishwives. Press on. We could just leave. That's always an option. Journey you must to the stupid woods. Oh, hello there. Yes, I am Stuart. The name's Reggie. It is what it is, Kane. And you're going to clean it. The trio began paddling in the direction of Wild Holly. Artemis! Here we go, then. The Chronicles of Wild Hollow. The Grey Trilogy. Streaming now, wherever you get your podcasts. Set sail on a brand new adventure. That concludes this episode of Soul Twin Talk. I look forward to speaking with you again next week. Be safe, be happy, and always remember... I can do anything I can reach any goal today I can do what I want I can be what I want to be You've been listening to episode 14 of Soul Twin Talk... I'm your host, Rachel Polium, and I'd like to thank my guest voice actor, Dean T. Moody, for joining us today. I'd also like to thank the team of October's Children, Murphy, and Shouting is Funny for allowing me to play their promos. And especially Shouting is Funny for letting me review their fantastic audio drama, The Chronicles of Wild Hollow. Do check that out, because it's not to be missed. Special thanks to Scott Wilkins for letting me share his demo today. Check out his audio drama, Bug Out. I'll include the links to all of those in the show notes. Music was composed by Ross Bernhard with incidental music by Storyblocks. Soul Twin Talk is a Soul Twin Audios production, copyrighted by creator Rachel Polium in 2022.